Uh, did you know Wait. that Tommy uh, and Emily are here? Yeah, yeah, I saw them. I Aren't sure. they kin to you? Well, Emily is. Uh. <laughs> uh, you, you know, Tommy's a Yankee. He, he is. He's from New York. He's an airplane flyer. <laughs> he, for Delta, I believe it is. Yeah, I hope it is. And I'm glad it's him that's doing it too, not me. <laughs> I believe what the Bible says. Lo, I will be with you always. No, we're, we're, we're really crazy about old Tommy. He, he come down here talking funny, you know, a long time ago. And when we got to where we could understand him, we really liked him. <laughs> and every time, every time I see old Tommy, I think of the very first time that we ever went to New York in our lives was to play Carnegie Hall. We had a little old song called Pearl Buttons, and it kind of went wild up there, and, and that's a fact. Uh, we'd only been singing a couple of three years, and they got to playing it up there, and, and, and they hired us to do a show in Carnegie Hall, and, and we went to New York. And, and this is a fact, what I'm telling you with my hand up. We, do you know what we, y'all remember what was traveling in at the time? A bread truck. <laughs> a white bread truck is what we was traveling around. And look, we didn't know no better. We thought we was kings of the road. And, and, and if, if, if I forget everything that ever happened in this business, I'll never forget going to New York in that bread truck. <laughs> we had some experience. This is a truth. This is an absolute truth. We pulled up in front of a little old grocery store. It had a filling station out in front, pumps out in front. And we pulled up with them pumps. It was about out of gas. And, and we sit there waiting for the guy to come out and fill us up. And... Uh, and, and I could see him sitting in there, you know, he, and he was looking right at us. I kept waiting. I said, wonder why the guy don't come out. The girl said, I don't know. And we just kept sitting there. So finally, I just kind of hit the horn, and he just kind of raised up. And I said, kind of motioned to him. He come out there. I said, hey, man, how about some gas? He said, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you was a sunbeam bread man. <laughs> it's a fact. And, and, and listen, listen, we had a drunk stagger up to us in a town one day and try to sell us blood. <laughs> Joe Head, Joe Head, Joe, Joe Head is with us then. He was what was known as our road manager. What that meant was he drove the bread truck and kept the bread straight in the back. But, but, but they hired us for Carnegie Hall, and, and I'm going to tell you something, the most we had ever been paid at the time, but, but we'd come out with this record, and Pearl Buttons kind of hit for us, you may remember, and, and, and the most we'd ever received for, for a show date was probably $150, and there we was going to, to New York to do a show called New York Music and Drama, and we went in the bread truck, of course is all we had. We, we got up there, we done fine, we got over into New York. Now, now in Carnegie Hall, uh, you, you just can't believe how beautiful the crowd was to us. Give us a standing ovation the whole bit. But getting from over in New Jersey to Carnegie Hall was an experience. There we was in a town, you know, boy, we'd come straight out of Smyrna, Georgia. <laughs> every cab driver, every cab driver in that town was blowing at us. I'm going to tell you, that, and, and they, they, they wouldn't only blow, they'd come up and let the window down and just scream at us. And we didn't know what we'd done. You know, it was just there. I think that was what it was. And, and, and let me tell you, if I had to die, I'm telling you the truth. We, 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 when we crossed over into New York, old Joe said, what's the name of that hotel? See, they had us checked in a hotel there. CBS people had us with a uh, man named Joe Bostic. He had us checked in the hotel. And I lost the, the name of the hotel. Also on the name of the thing on the name of the hotel is where we're supposed to meet Mr. Bostic. The only thing I still had left in my book, I had where Carnegie Hall was. So, so we, we, we asked around and, and we found that we were just a, a block or two from Carnegie Hall. So I saw a policeman standing over there. And I told Joe, I said, hey, pull over here. Let me ask this police. So I got out and I started trying to ask him. I said, we know that we're in a hotel near Carnegie Hall. <laughs> 
But I said, uh, we don't know uh, which one it is. We don't know the name of it. And we're up here from Smyrna, Georgia, and we never have been up here before. And, 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 and like, he just stood there and looked at me. He said, he said, I don't even know what you said. <laughs> so, and, and that made me mad. Yeah, it really, I, I try to show, I said, hey man, I, all I'm doing is, I, we supposed to, I, I just want to know if you can tell me what hotel we're in, and I, or what hotel is close to, to Carnegie Hall. He said, that one, that one, and that one. And Geraldine looked out the window and said, I think they got us all in the same one. <laughs> now, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think anybody in the world was that dumb. But that police was. I just looked at him like I thought all his bricks wasn't laid. I got back in the bread truck. He walked over there and he said, hey man, I wanna ask you something. Where y'all from? I said, Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> 